Me, myself, and I is gonna get a little funky because there are a lot of things you know that you don't know you know. I've got three short videos for you so you can take this in bite-sized chunks, learn one of these things to death, watch it over and over as many times as you need to before you move on or move back. So, so nothing, let's get started. <laughs> My native English speaking students in particular want to know when to use myself as opposed to me and I. And luckily for them, I am a language geek and I get into this sort of thing. Now the basic thing to know for avoiding problems is to never, ever, 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 ever use myself as a subject. Only as an object and only in certain circumstances. But as I've said before, now the trouble is subjects and objects themselves can constitute something of a mystery. This is partly due to the complexities of English and partly due to our failing educational system, which no longer teaches these sorts of things. So we'll get started with some simple examples. The basic sentence structure I'm gonna work with in this lesson is someone does someone. In this sentence structure, the doer is always the subject and the doe is always the object. So, subject does object. Well, like that. Furpo hit Dempsey. The subject is the hitter and the object is the hit e. Subject hit object. That was from a who and whom lesson. Subjects and objects are going to come up in grammar explaining all the time. What you need to know about them in this lesson is myself is never a subject. Never, ever, ever. But you're still going to see sentences like this one. Jason, Holly, and myself met to discuss the upgrade of the knowledge base. You see what the problem is? The person speaking is a subject, a doer, a meet-er. People make this mistake because they panic a little when there are multiple doers, that's also called a compound subject, and they tend to think that myself brings this needed level of complexity. This is a sentence in a real email written by a middle manager in a publications department in a Fortune 100 company that you've heard of, the CEO of which is a billionaire. But don't let your betters fool you. Jason, Holly, and I met to discuss the upgrade of the knowledge base. So when do you use those self words? Myself, yourself, himself, herself? You use them when the subject and the object are the same person. I denounce myself. Subject denounces object. Napoleon crowned himself, fact. Subject crowned object. The cat gave itself a bath. Subject gave object a bath. Now this structure is easy, you'll probably get it right all the time, but there are a few pitfalls with objects which I'm going to get to in the next lesson because I like to do this in bite-sized chunks. So for now, chew on this, myself is never a subject. One thing before we go, how about this sentence, help yourself. There's a self word there, an object, but where's the subject? Here's the answer. In any sentence where you're giving an order, even a nice order like help yourself, the subject is always you. You help yourself. Subject help object. So use myself only as an object and give yourself a pat on the back. And as always, thanks for watching. And you, like and subscribe.